Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. As always, I just do these videos randomly when I come across something I read online or on my Google News app that I feel merits posting it here within this playlist. But in this case, this entry came from an internet suggestion, if you will. This is because the other day I did that story on Aaron Henderson, the poor gentleman who ended up being trampled over by a bulldozer while he was there inside of a porta potty while working at a landfill. It got a good number of views, so it definitely seemed to resonate with people. But when I was doing my initial research on that story, this other entry came up. Apparently, like the internet provided this as you might want to read this type suggestion. And it also has to do with just a gruesome way for someone to go out in this world. In this case, it involves an 83 year old man who ended up dying, being buried alive within a landfill, within a giant heap of trash, of waste. What a way to go. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. His name was Zhang Zongji. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Zhang Zongji. And this is, again, his story about how he was buried alive within a mound of waste, a mound of trash at a landfill. So here's all the information associated with it. By the way, I'll include the link for the other story involving Aaron Henderson in case you haven't seen that video just yet. This other story, though, apparently it occurred almost six years ago. This was back in the middle of August 2016. It took place at a location called Xinjiang, which is apparently either a county or a city within uh, the Shangxi province. Somebody might have to correct me on that. I was looking up some information initially on Yingjiang, but it looks like it's a county made up of, I guess, provinces, something along those lines. Again, somebody please correct me on that information. The story, though, already starts off kind of tragic. Zhang Zhongji was 83 years old. He was living in an area that was considered pretty poor. This was because him and his wife his elderly wife would routinely go out every single morning. They would travel a good ways by walking there. And in this case, it was about 550 meters to a nearby village landfill, which you're looking at pictures of here. Their sole purpose was one thing. They were there to scrounge around to try to find items that they could sell. Something either being items for people to collect or items to sell as recyclables, either glass or plastic. Apparently, they would do this every single morning. Can you imagine that? 83 years old. It doesn't say how old the wife was, but presumably it was around that same age as well. And then there they are having to make ends meet by being able to go to this landfill and then spend their day pretty much from sun up until sundown just trying to find anything and everything involving those items there. And this was a very, very routine thing, so much so that their in-laws, I believe their in-laws were also living with them at the time. They would know that they would be off going into that landfill and then they would come back home afterwards. And this was just going on day by day. But on this fateful day, though, when they were out there again, just trying to make ends meet, just trying to do everyday expenses uh, when it comes to selling these items. That's when the wife called out, it seemed like this was also very usual, called out to her husband to say, you know, it's time to go home. Something along those lines. It was something where um, it was their way of making sure that that was the end of their day. But when she did so, she said she called out to her husband several times, but there was no response. And then she looked around for him, but she was unable to find him. And so the next thing she did, the next natural thing, was she went straight home and she wanted to find someone that could help her out. And so over the next few days, the Zhang family, which consisted of the mother and then the in-laws, went back to that landfill over those days to try to find and, and scourge for anything indicating what happened to Zhang. And I got the impression that they probably did this from sunup to sundown as well. Obviously, uh, this was very, very important to them. Here you have somebody, a beloved uh, grandfather, 83 years old, and he's gone, nowhere to be seen. And so they spotted that location. They looked through 
articles reading it said heaps of rubbish. I don't know if they had anyone else outside of the family help them out. Who knows? Maybe they did have uh, people there within the landfill, the ones that worked there to try to find him as well. But there was no clue, nothing indicating what occurred. And this happened up to the next three days. Finally, they had to do a little bit more further extra search and that was when they took some of their money they pro they rented a private excavator um, I don't know if it was like from that landfill itself or if it was from another private party but there they were able to do a much wider quicker search using that private excavator and unfortunately tragic news they found him but they found him and he was diseased uh, deceased Zhang Zongji was found under a heap of landfill under a heap of waste, a bunch of under tons of rubbish. In fact, his body was already decomposing at that time, which indicated that he had been dead pretty much since the time period that um, the wife was originally trying to call out to him. And so they found him, they found the body, but again, there was no hope whatsoever. And that was it. That was the end of the 83 year old life of. Zhang Zongji. Now, an investigation was started to see what happened. I tried to find if there was any resolution for this. Remember, this is about almost six years ago, so there's uh, hopefully something involving some resolution. If there was, I didn't find it online, but the initial investigation seemed to go in two angles. One was that the landfill workers there accidentally dumped a whole bunch of this waste slash trash on him as they didn't see him very similar to right hum when it comes to the situation involving Aaron Henderson in that case while he was not seen um, and the excavator ran over him here is believed that the uh, landfill workers didn't see where this guy was where uh, Zhengji was and so when that occurred they just went ahead and did their um, normal everyday business they dumped the the trash right on him probably over another type of hill that he was under and then he was essentially buried alive oh my goodness what a way to go right when it comes to that imagine being buried alive underneath all that disgusting trash and waste and not having any power anything whatsoever to be able to scrounge out you could probably scream you could probably move as much as you can but him being 83 years old i don't think there would have been too much hope at that point. There's that angle. The other angle is that nobody dumped any uh, heaps of waste on him, but rather he in turn was already in a dangerous environment. Those mounds of waste, you could imagine them being very fragile. Like in other words, they're not rigid. Um, the slightest movement or something else could cause a domino effect and it could topple one bound of waste onto another. So him already being in that environment, it was probably already very, very dangerous. And so here he was, probably let's say on the bottom of one of those mounds of waste. And then as it turns out, he was moving things and then that caused an avalanche to come over him. And probably with those workers, them seeing this on a daily basis there where the trash moves, it just settles, uh, rolls over onto each an, another mound and so on to them it was probably just an ordinary type of movement nothing in terms of all of a sudden somebody being buried alive so either way I could see both angles working the landfill workers in other words accidentally dumping this on him not having seen him or he in turn being accidentally buried alive by one of the mounds um, uh, just toppling over on him and then that caused him to be in that situation too. The third angle is that they did this purposely but there's no indication obviously that that would ever have been done. I mean people are cruel in this world but one wouldn't think that this would ever ever happen purposefully on something on those uh, regards. So that one is almost zil to none when it comes to the chances of that happening. But yeah that's pretty much it. Unfortunately again I don't have an answer to this final investigation, what happened, uh, obviously, like with the body recovered, I'm sure there was some kind of proper burial, but as far as an answer as to what caused it, nope, nothing along those lines. But that's pretty much it. That's all the information associated with this story. Zhang Zongji, 83 years old, buried alive under tons of rubbish. What a horrible, gruesome way to go on there. But if anybody has any more info, anything else I might have missed, then please... 
Post those comments below. What about those of you on the local level? Six years ago, if you recall anything along these stories, uh, then please uh, let me know. I'd love to hear what your local comments are. And I could totally imagine even to this day, too, that people are still there in that landfill. The people that living in that type of situation where they just have to scrounge around to make ends meet, that they're there to this day doing the very same thing, even after a situation like this. Poor situation all around. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care.